This is VOA News. I'm Christopher Cruz reporting. Experts are assessing the damage at the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris after a fire devastated the iconic church on Monday. The fire is uniting the world with various nations offering help to restore the landmark. AP Washington correspondent Sagar Magani reports from the White House. As the fire burned yesterday, President Trump stayed aboard Air Force One to watch the TV coverage. It's one of the uh, great treasures of the world. From the Vatican to Buckingham Palace to Moscow, world leaders say they're ready to support Paris in rebuilding Notre Dame, including Poland's prime minister, who remembers Warsaw rising from the World War II ruins. Two French tycoons have reportedly pledged nearly $340 million. On CBS This Morning, Paris's deputy mayor said Notre Dame will recover. We'll rise up again and build it again. Sagar Magani at the White House. French prosecutors have said there is nothing to indicate there was foul play involved in the fire. Nonetheless, 50 investigators are involved in the probe to determine the exact cause, a process that will be long and complex. The head of the European Union, Donald Tusk, is calling for the 28-nation bloc to help with the rebuilding effort. A Ugandan state minister says his country would consider granting asylum to ousted Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir, who is wanted by the International Criminal Court. His three-decade-long reign was toppled last week by top commanders after four months of nationwide demonstrations. Sudan's ruling military council says it has fired the country's top prosecutor just days after the military ousted Bashir. Tuesday's statement by the Military Council says it dismissed General Prosecutor and two of his aides. This is VOA News. United Nations aid agencies are expressing deep concern about the safety of civilians in Tripoli as fighting moves to the center of the Libyan capital. Correspondent Lisa Schlein reports for VOA from Geneva. UN aid agencies are particularly worried about the situation of some 4,000 refugees and migrants, most from sub-Saharan Africa, who are held in government detention centers in and around Tripoli. Of particular concern are more than 1,500 believed to be trapped in several places of detention close to where the clashes are occurring. The International Organization for Migration reports one bit of good news. It says it was able to organize a humanitarian relief flight Monday to repatriate 136 migrants to Nigeria. Algerian state television reports the head of the country's constitutional council has resigned after weeks of facing the ire of protesters. The chairman of the council, which will play a key role in upcoming presidential elections, has presented his resignation to the head of state. Algerians had called for him and other top figures to quit in mass demonstrations that prompted the departure of veteran President Abdel Aziz Bouteflika earlier this month. A court in Russia has sentenced a Norwegian citizen to 14 years in prison for spying following a trial behind closed doors. Frode Berg is a retired border inspector. He appeared Tuesday in a court in Moscow, the first open to the public hearing of the trial. Russian authorities say he was arrested in December 2017 in Moscow after a sting operation. The 63-year-old Berg accused of espionage relating to Russia's nuclear submarines. The television program Game of Thrones is at the top of its game when it comes to its ratings. AP Entertainment editor Oscar Wells Gabriel reports. The records just keep coming for the HBO fantasy series. The Pay Channel says the first episode of the final season of Game of Thrones has set a new mark. HBO says 17.4 million viewers watched Sunday's episode, either on TV or online. That is a record, topping the 16.1 million who saw the premiere for season 7 and the 16.9 million who watched that season's finale. I'm Oscar Wells Gabriel. Top story of the hour, the French President Emmanuel Macron promised Tuesday to rebuild the Notre Dame Cathedral within five years after a fire caused extensive damage to the 850-year-old Parisian landmark. A spokesman said Monday the entire wooden interior of the cathedral has been destroyed. You can find more on these and other late-breaking and developing stories from around the world around the clock at voanews.com and on the VOA News mobile app. I'm Christopher Cruz, VOA News.